Guten Tag, ich heiße Ralphie Dude. I know what you're thinking. Two videos for Ralphie Dude in the same week? Oh lord have mercy. Someone by the name of Jester gave me the idea of playing this upcoming title from my Ralphie Dude Facebook page. You guys can also drop by with your own suggestions for future videos as well. The game I'm taking a look at now is called the Red Bull Air Race The Game. Just as the name suggests, it is a simple air race game just like the ones you are used to seeing from Red Bull. It's currently in the closed beta stage and free to play. The link is in the description for the curious. Now, I signed up for the closed beta and I immediately received an email back with the download link. As far as I can tell, it has been in the beta stage for quite some time and I'm not entirely sure whether or not it's even heading towards completion anymore. One rumor goes that it has been abandoned as a project except for a possible mobile app. Uh, whichever is true, if you just want to mess around a little bit, this isn't exactly a horrible experience, so get it while it's hot. As you can see from the external shots alone, it looks very nice, so that part of this game is solid. When you start off the game for the very first time, you will be greeted by a tutorial section that forces you straight into the game. It doesn't allow you to go into your controls to set anything up unless you forcefully crash and exit and get into the main menu screen that we can see here. As you can see, you get the standard run-of-the-mill options, but as you can also see at the very bottom, that's kind of still very beta right there. <laughs> as far as the controls are set up, uh, it does recognize my Thrustmaster, which is very nice, and then you also have these different options available to you. But I obviously stuck with the Thrustmaster. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this supports Track AR, however, by this Reset VR section, I assume VR does work with this game, which is very nice. Getting started is as easy as pressing Play Now at the very top, and you get three options here. Choosing Solo Play is probably going to be your options if you're just starting out for the first time. However, since this is a beta, getting into a game is a completely different story. So, how is the gameplay? Well, what you're about to see is me flying here for the second time. I actually got my rudder working here, so this is me flying with the rudder and I'm just testing it out to see how effective it is. You have three different flight models you can choose from, the easy, medium, and professional level. At the professional level, it does feel quite a bit different than the simple one, but I'm not entirely sure if this is exactly what you would call simulator-esque. But at least it doesn't feel like you're flying on rails, which is very nice. The only concept that was a little difficult to get used to was the rudder shift because it felt very slippery. Uh, it's something new to get used to. Now, gameplay-wise, there are several things you need to watch out for. Uh, incorrect level flying as you're passing through certain gates, sinking, climbing, or being too low, too high. Uh, things of that nature um, are being scored, so whenever you mess up, they add time on top of whatever time it is you finish. If you fly outside of the visual guardrail that you see in front of you, uh, you do not get penalized. However, you will increase your time, so being on this guide rail is probably your best chance of getting the best time. I haven't really looked at any videos online to see how other people are doing it, but my times versus the world's best time is... Uh, well, we are worlds apart. Speaking of the guardrail, I haven't seen an option to actually turn this off. Not that there are a lot of options in the option menu, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Beta, you know, just work in progress, I guess. But I personally haven't found it to be too distracting while flying, especially once you're learning the track. So after you've completed your race, you will get a chart where you will see what the other people's scores are, and you can compare it to that. As you can see, I'm in the 400 range, but this was just my second flight. I'm sure that if I were to work on this, I could get myself quite a bit higher than this. Now, after completing that race, it wouldn't allow me to go into another game until I chose my sponsor. And as you can see, I chose NVIDIA because GTX 1080. Now, after each race, you are going to need to repair your aircraft, so there is some maintenance. And the default aircraft you get, it's always free, but I assume that in future aircraft, you are going to need to pay for it. I think my favorite track out of all of them has to be the Grand Canyon. As you can see, it is a very nice, big, open space. Uh, in terms of views, you get several external shots, um, the best of which would have to be the snows or in the cockpit uh, section. Uh, as soon as you start doing the outside view, things get a little bit wonky. For example, over here you get this external one, where the camera stays at the horizon, but the aircraft rotates. 
this threw me off for a little bit of a loop and I really didn't like that. So I switched to the other external camera, which locks the camera to the actual aircraft so it rotates with it. And that was a little bit more uh, intuitive. Now, this level is quite a bit more relaxed than the other ones. Uh, however, this loop over here is where the fun starts, because you really start feeling the speed of the aircraft. Uh, this being not the fastest aircraft available in this game, obviously. Uh, in order to unlock the faster ones, you need to keep continuing doing these games uh, to unlock money. Uh, 75,000, I think, to get the next one. But as you can see here, even with this slowest aircraft available, it still feels pretty awesome going into that loop. Now in-game, there is one fun little option you can turn on called uh, Ghost Mode, I believe. So here you're going to see me do a wide yo-yo, just so I can see one of my previous flights get ahead of me. So that aircraft you can see over there is just me on my previous flight on this um, level, I believe. And it's fun to see just exactly how I do. Um, but if you turn the ghost image on and you're flying and you never see that guy, that means you're ahead of yourself from your previous flight, which is always good news. But as you can see, I'm like outside of the rails on that pass. I am so on this pass as well. But this is just to demonstrate how that looks like, which is pretty neat. I, I kind of like that function. All right, so I'm going to leave you here with one of the full races without commenting on it. Uh, this is when I started to get a better hang of things, and uh, I'm still going to make mistakes, obviously, but um, this is where, you, you know, it starts to look like you're having a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the last clip.